This here is your good old WooCommerce product editor. And as you see, editing variations looks like this one here. But this one here is a future. That is the new upcoming WooCommerce product editor. I've already made a brief overview of what you can do with it, but in this video, I'm going to show you the newest addition that is the option to add the variations and create variable products. And also, I'm going to show you how you can test it out. Now, in order to keep it short, I'm going to show you how to activate it. Let's go to WooCommerce, Settings, Advanced, and now choose Features. As you see down below here, there is a new product editor. If you activate it, then the new product editor will be shown. Also, if you didn't know, then you can deactivate the marketplace here and you can deactivate WooCommerce Analytics if you don't use it. Now, since I activated the product editor, let's go to the products, add new. And as you see, here is my new product editor. I'm going to give it the title, for example, another variable product. Let's add a summary. Let's make this one bold. Since it's going to be a variable product, I'm not going to add a price, but I'm going to add a description. And the new product editor allows you to use Gothenburg blocks. I'm going to add a text here, and I'm going to add an image block after the first paragraph with this image here. You can use any block you want to use here. When I'm ready, I'm going to click on Done. Now I'm going to choose Images. Those three images will be in my gallery. The one that has a label cover, this is your featured image. If you would like to change it, then select the image and click on Set as Cover. If you would like to change the order of images in the gallery, then just click on the arrows here. Under the organization, I'm going to choose categories. It's going to be added to the accessories category. I can add tags in a similar way. Choose some. Also, I can choose whether to hide it from the catalog or search results. I'm going to disable product reviews. And if the product is protected with a password, then I can activate it here and set the password. I'm not going to do that. Since it's going to be a variable product, I'm not going to add any attributes here, but you can do it for the simple products. Under the pricing, once again, since it's a variable product, I'm not going to set the price. I'm going to set the price for every variation separately. But here also I can schedule the sale info and change the tax information. Under the advanced, you can choose a tax class. If it's a simple product, then you can set the inventory information here. For example, set the quantities and so. Also, you can add the SKU here. Under the shipping, you can add shipping classes with length, height, and weight. And now let's go to the variations. There are no variations added, so I'm going to add one. I'm going to select from the ones I have already added. And just to be clear, I'm going to close it for a second. If I go to the attributes, these are the attributes I have already created. So if I add a variation here, I can choose one of those here, or I can add my own, for example, create the new demo. Now let's add value, for example, x, new value, x, and z, and it's done. If I would like to add another one, then I'm going to choose color. This time it's going to be black and dark. If I'm ready, then I'm going to add variations here. And as you see, those are the variations. And now I'm going to set the prices. As you see, there is no drop down as we have here. But under the three dots, there is action menu. Click on pricing, set the list price, for example, 12 euros. You can also set the increase, for example, 10%, and it's done. Or decrease 20%. You can also add a fixed value. Let's add, let's decrease 320. Done. And I can do the same with every other variation I have here. Quite easy, isn't it? Now, as you see, there is a stock status here. I can set the stock by going inventory, update stock, for example, 11, do the same. 
and so on. The last one here is shipping. You can set the length, width, height and weight separately for every attribute here. And there is also a delete option. Nothing else to configure, so let's click on add, view it in store, and there you go. Now the question, what happens if I go to the WooCommerce settings, advanced features, and if I deactivate it, what happens? I'm going to save it, go to the products, open it up, and as you see, all the information is still here. If I open up the variations, you'll see all the information is also here. And as you remember, I created a new attribute called demo with some variations. If I go to the attributes, it's also added here. Now you probably ask, when will it be released? The answer is, I don't know yet. But if I take a look at the WooCommerce developer blog, then there is a blog post from the June 28th. When the first version was released, now it took them approximately two or three months to release another version with a variation support. So based on that, I guess that it will be released sometime next year. Nevertheless, I would suggest you to take a look at it and familiarize yourself with it. And then when it's released, you're ready. Now, if you find this video useful, then don't forget to smash that like button down below. And if you would like to know what are the unknown WooCommerce secrets that are hidden somewhere over there, then take a look at the video you see on the screen right now. In the meantime, take care.